Hi, this is Karen Titus from Stamping on the Back Porch, and welcome to another in the series of Wild About Washi. So today's washi tape thing is um, the fun border on this um, great card, be a great card for a guy. You know, in stamping we often say all things old become new again, so I don't know if you remember making these chains out of your gum strips when you're young, but if this looks at all confusing, just, you know, ask a kid, they probably still do this. So this is a very simple card, the actual layout. I just have a basic bay graze, um, base, so that's five and a half by eight and a half folded. And then I have a piece of paper from the This and That designer series paper, cut five and a quarter by four. And, and I loved this piece of paper because it looks like another little element going across. It was just kind of a fun look. And then for my, these two things, I have Calypso Coral, that is three and three quarters by two and three quarters and a piece of Sahara sand that's three and a half by two and a half. I think it's often fun to stamp on paper other than your white or vanilla. So this just gives a fun look. I like the Sahara sand. So I've just stamped the goose from Wetlands in stays on ink so it'd be bright. And then all that is left is to do this fun chain. So to do this I took the this and that washi tape also and I just picked these two colors and I pre-cut a bunch of two inch strips and I have them just attached to the side of my table or you could put them on a clipboard so then they're just easy to pick up. So I took my first one, I doubled it in half. I guess doubling would mean that, wouldn't it? And then I just take my next strip and we're not, you know, nothing about this is very fussy so I'm just kind of hit and miss guessing here. I'm trying to put it on the end. Hard to do with my hands so far away. So I will just add that. Then I will just take the alternating color. And you see how easy this is to just go ahead and build and it doesn't matter. Look how off I'm gonna be on that one, that's fine. I said two inches just so we would have some extra leeway to play with it there. And I'll take another gray, gray stripes and I'll put it right next to there. This is just very forgiving, but I think that's Probably a little bit too much. You kind of, as you get going, you'll see how you get better at guessing. I also might get better at guessing if I just do it upside down. But we're always just going on and on in a chain like that, and then I will just come back and clean up the extra edges. And this, I'll cut that off so it looks like the same. So you can see how that's going to just build all the way down. This becomes my fun little border and I attach that. I wanted to accent it so I just attached that with some dimensionals under and there you have a fun way to make a chain with your washi tape. So think of all the ideas you could do with this and be sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos coming up. Thanks again for watching. It's Karen Titus stamping on the back porch.